Now that we're in August, tropical activity tends to pick up as we are just 40 days away from the peak of hurricane season. The next name on the list this year is Emily. This will be the eighth time we've heard this name, but it's one of the most historic names to never be retired. Chris raises our weather IQ. Since 1981, Emily has had many faces and even set some records, making landfall five times and was even a category five hurricane. And yet it was never retired. Let's raise that weather IQ. This is the Atlantic hurricane season name list from 1981. The original list has retired 11 of the most infamous hurricanes in history, such as Harvey, Maria, and Katrina, but not Emily. And she has quite the history. In 1981, Emily peaked as a category one hurricane. The 1987 Emily became a major hurricane, made landfall in Hispaniola as a category two storm, caused $80 million worth of damage and killed three. But that wasn't enough to put her name on the shelf. In 1993, Emily was the strongest storm of the season, reaching category three strength again. It scraped by the Outer Banks, but caused an estimated $35 million worth of damage in North Carolina and caused two more fatalities. But it was the year 2005 that Emily became historic. Emily became the first Category 5 to form before August, reaching a peak sustained wind of 160 miles per hour. Emily killed six people directly in Grenada and Jamaica before making landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 4 storm, and then made a second landfall near San Fernando, Mexico, just south of Texas as a Category 3. Surprisingly, no deaths were attributed to Emily directly in Mexico. Massive evacuations of nearly 100,000 people who are mostly tourists saved countless lives. This is likely why Emily name didn't get retired. The total direct and indirect fatalities were far less than the five counterparts that were retired in 2005. Emily did cause over a billion dollars worth of damage, but again, comparatively, it was far less than the others. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.